on Tuesday, I tried recording this video, but some is going a bit weird with my audio at the moment and it, it just it wasn't usable so i've tried bumping up the the sample rates not the sample rates now i'm talking rubbish I, i've changed the buffer size to 256 instead of 128 latency is a bit worse right so users of pf sense will uh, will recognize this this is looking at kia DHCP. What I've noticed is that on PF Sense, or at least on my one, it's telling me that ISC DHCPD is uh, is coming to its uh, end of life. It's deprecated. I thought I'd have a look at Kia on FreeBSD rather than in PF Sense because every time I've tried to use it in PF Sense, it just hasn't worked. So we'll take a look at that today. So before we jump into that, there's going to be some really weird uh, background noises. I don't know if you can see him. No, he's right behind me. I'm going to have a look. Yeah, there he is. We have a little visitor stay with us at the moment. Come here then. Come on. Up you come. Up. Yeah. Little scatterbrain. Yeah, all right. All right. You can get down now. Come in. Don't work. Hey. Oh, dear. Absolute scatterbrain. Scatter cushion, scatter cushion. <laughs> so you can hear Buddy, he's, he's chewing his bone behind me. Okay, so I'm logged into my test bed. I'm going to go through the whole thing from installation to, to set up and see how it is. Before I do that, I just had to light up my TARDIS. Okay, so I'm going to just install the one thing that I find useful to help me do this. So package, install, Pico, Alpine, my editor of choice. You do you and use your one. I'm also going to install Kia. So this is the first thing on this test bed. So it's going to download package itself, install that. And there we go. So there's all the packages, just a few of them. All I can hear is gum, 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 which is fine. I don't mind that. So let's um, let's get Kia enabled in the rc.conf. There you'll see my my options. So let's enable it and let's try to start it just out of the box with with no configuration. Let's see what happens. Actually, there's one other thing, just so we can look at what's going on. Package, install, oh, screen. This will allow us to jump to and from. Now I am logged into the console of this box. It's not putty or anything like that. It's literally cable plugged into the PC, keyboard and mouse. Let's open the screen. I can't spell today. There we go. So on this one, we're gonna tie, oh, yeah, before we do that, Let's just make a couple of changes to the syslog so that I can actually monitor the all log because that is quite helpful. So let's have a, oh, told you, not a spell. ETC syslog.conf. And I'm just gonna do those two. I like to have them, I find them very useful. So var log all.log and console.log. I always do this. It's probably not necessary, but I always do it. Change mod 600 R log all and console. Let's restart syslog. For donk, that's that done. Right, so let's go to user local etc rc dot c rc dot d. Can't talk, can't spell. Uh, and then we'll see that there's the Kia script. So let's give it a start and see what happens. Well, let's run him. Let's stop that. All right, so let's come out of there. To return to our screen, it's just minus R. There we go. So let's tail the log in here so we can see what's going on. Currently nothing. And then, gonna reboot it first. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, so my studio's a bit messy at the moment. 
What are you going to do? Boot. Actually, to be fair, that the audio interface does look quite clean, the feed. So hopefully we'll get through this. We shall see. All right, let's log in. Okay, so screen. Let's tail the all log. And then let's start here. Cool, so I just rebooted it, so it started on its own. So let's go back to my screen. And there's nothing in there. So let's have a look at our logs. There's a lot there. So let's have a look at Kia DHCP4. See what's happening. 192. Ah. So we're going to need to make some configuration changes because it's using the wrong IP address. For anyone who's not familiar with my videos, you'll know that I have a really strange um, IPv4 scheme on my local network. So let's just change that. So we're going to stop it first. I'm not in there, we're not. So let's stop it here. Okay. So let's go user local etc Kia. Well. That's a lot of configuration files. So let's have a look at them all. Kia, CTRL is the first one. Let's have a look at that. Uh, the control agent running on local host. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, C now. DHCP4, DHCP6, D2. That's DDNS. All right, okay. Right, that's cool. We don't need to touch anything in there. We're not using uh, DDNS, but we'll have a look at the file anyway. DDNS. So DHCP, DDNS. We're not using uh, a dynamic DNS. But if we were, that's where we would configure it. Okay, so the all important one for this network is here. DHCP 4. This one. So DHCP4 interfaces, we're going to leave it on all interfaces. We'll leave it on UDP. Control socket. Yep. Lease database. We'll leave all of that. Oh, that's nice. You can put it into a MySQL database. That's pretty cool. I'm well aware that you can do that on ISC DHCP as well. But given this is a completely new DHCP server, it's quite nice to see those those old features being moved over. That's pretty cool. No kidogi option data. Right, so there's the domain name servers. Right, so if anything was to get a, an IP address from this, it wouldn't work. So let's put in the IP address of the domain domain name server on my local network, which is ten one four eight eighty six one. Like I said, strange IP scheme. Works for me. Uh, do we want to put a host name in? Um, actually, we'll leave it at that because then at least I'll know which DHCP server, because I've got one on my network anyway, which is PFSense. Uh, at least I'll know which one is dishing out the IP address. So if it gets at example.org, I know it's that. Name, domain search, my domain, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll leave that. We'll leave all of that. Right, so what's this? So what's this? Right, client classes. You can also define classes. If a class, if classes are defined, incoming packets may be assigned to specific classes. A client class can be, can represent any group of devices that share some common characteristics. Excellent. So that's pretty cool. We don't need that though, so we'll leave that. Yeah, so it's literally doing that. Right, subnet. Subnet 4. We'll leave the same names. I don't want to play around with that too much. He's found his squeaky toy then. The pool. I'm going to make this pretty narrow because I don't really want to be faffing around with what gets what. 148. 86. And let's go. Actually, you know what? I've got a better idea. Because I don't have anything dishing out on 87. So I'm going to use that. Because I can. Because of my subnet. So I'm going to go 87. 10. 87. 50. That's reasonable. 
option data so the routers we have to change that because that's wrong m 4 a oh come on 861 okay reservations see to find out if this is actually working i could put the res the ip the mac address of my pc into it and see if that works maybe i will actually let's try it just to see why not is a hardware address what is it we got b4 d4 c4 24 zero zero ec and i'm going to give that an address of 10 148 87 11 and then i'm going to just comment out the rest of these because we don't need them okay right so we've gone past the reservations loggers login configuration we're going to leave that as it is okay i think that's configured at least for dhcp4 let's uh have a look at the rest of the files in there so we've got kia dhc no down go on pico minus w kia dhcp6 i'm not using well i am but i'm not going to do it on this test uh dhcp6 but uh, this is a configuration file same options basically but with ipv6 stuff as well yeah i'm not going to spend too much time on that because like i said i'm not using it all right so kia ctl all right let's have a look dhcp uh four yes dhcp six yes ddns no start net conf no control agent yes be verbose i'm gonna go yes just because it's the option and that'll do i think should we try starting it now that looks good to me so let's go back to our log uh okay i'm gonna try renewing my lease on da on uh, on my pc and see if it actually picks it up you never know uh ip assignment actually let's open a, a terminal uh, yeah 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 cmd boobadum okay let's capture that let's close that for a minute there we go right ip config let's see what happened see here's the problem windows doesn't actually give you a way of specifying the dhcp server at least i don't think it does that's interesting so i've released it oh wow i didn't even think of that so if i turned off dhcp for ipv4 things still work with dh with ipv6 i didn't even think that would happen i bet i can't get oh my god that's quite impressive actually i never thought that would happen ah look see some of it don't work though see that's the problem with with uk we don't generally have much ipv6 going on in this country i bet you if i went to ring that doesn't work either but youtube does that's really funny to me <laughs> anyway yeah it's still using the old dhcp server there is a way around that let's turn it off for a minute stop service just for a minute that's stopped let's try again still picking it up why is that now i know that kia doesn't work on this unless they fixed it it is entirely possible that they have fixed it all right let's try again release renew hmm okay i'm getting a bit bogged down with the wrong thing here let's <laughs> let's go back to um to kia now i believe this is running and and is running correctly but i've got no way of stopping the other dhcp server and obviously that's taking priority somehow i don't know how it's doing that but that, that's what's happening what i am gonna do actually is i'm gonna I'm gonna, because now that my PF sense is running uh, Kia, I just want to test that this actually works if I renew the lease on this. Because it is getting a different IP address. Uh, but it's correct. So let's, let's have a, a think about this. Let's reboot it and see what happens. Because it doesn't take too long to reboot. Why not? A link has come up. Does it have an IP address? 
Yes, it does. Maybe they've fixed Kia on BF Sentence. I mean, it looks like they have. Okay, let's put in a lease and see how the static map in. That's. I didn't think this is where this video was going to go, I'll be honest. Right, so static mapping. Okay, so that there's, <clears throat> there's my MAC address. And I've got that from a console, client identifier, no, IP address, 148, And I'm going to just do a quick scan of my network to find out what's on there. Because my PC is 10, so ideally what I'd like is maybe 11. Yep, nothing on 11, so we'll go with that. And we're going to call it test bed. Use the right keyboard. All right, so if I go back to my test bed and I restart the thing. Perfect. I've got to stop doing that. I keep using the wrong flaming keyboard. <laughs> right, I can see my test bed. It's on 165 at the moment. See what it gets now. Because it should pick up that reservation. Let's have a look. It's come big. There it is. It has. Okay, so Kira is now working. I'm going to leave that as my my DHCP server then. That way I don't have to worry about it a little while down the road. So that probably means that my Kia DHCP server on this is running fine. It's a bit long. I've, I've gone around the houses on this and it, I'm really sorry for that. I do apologise. Please do rewind and, and have a look at what I actually did. It was quite simple, it, just as simple as using ISC and DHCP. It's worth doing, especially if ISC is going away. Um, yeah, so let me know your experience with Kia because, like I said, up until, well, actually, up until uh, 2402, 03, whatever it is on actually let's have a quick look ever since 2403 on pf sense it's been working by the looks of it it wasn't before but it was was beta so maybe it's working now maybe i need to stop worrying so much yeah let me know your, your comments I, i'd love to know um what, what dhcp services you're using on your home networks if you're using your isps uh, router or a Wi-Fi router or, or whatever let me know it's all interesting don't forget to subscribe like share check out the discord server link down there and all I can say is love you bye